Okay, everyone, this video is going to cover how to actually verify and check the reliability of your measurement items for your variable. Now, measurement items, in this particular case, we're using a survey that was asked to employees, and they answered their question based on a Likert type scale. So we're going to run through how to actually verify that the questions we asked actually measures the variable of employee satisfaction or how well does it measure it so let's go ahead and run through this analysis we're going to click on analyze go to scale and reliability analysis and then here you can see that you have all your questions that were asked here okay but i only want to check on the reliability of this measurement scales that's going to actually measure employee satisfaction so I'll move my question CBT 1 through 9 over to items, and I'm going to click on statistics. And I want the descriptors for the item, the scale, and also scale if item deleted. And this will become important when we get to the next screen. And I'll check for means and correlations, but I'm really only focusing on my descriptors for this particular video. We click continue. Make sure your model, we're going to leave it on alpha, that is the preset a default setting and we're going to click OK. All right. Now, rule of thumb, any measurement over 0.6 is considered acceptable. Now, the higher you go, the more reliable and the more confident you will be in your measurement scale. So we can see here that our crumb box alpha for our measurement scale is 0.891. OK, so that's a very good measurement of employee satisfaction. Oh, and also we'll go up here and you see I had 216 participants that answered or employees that answered that survey. So here we have a 0.891, which is a very good measurement. So I'm pretty confident that what the questions we asked and what we collected from our participants will actually measure the employee satisfaction. But remember before when I told you that I would explain the Kronbach Alpha if item deleted? Well, let's say that you conducted a survey, you asked questions, you collected your data, and you performed your reliability of your scale, and it was below a 0.60 or 0.6. Well, here you will be able to see that if you delete an item, like for example, if I were to delete this first question, my new Kronbach alpha measurement would be 0.78. So if it falls below 0.6, make sure that you select Kronbach if item deleted, and then you can see which question should you drop from your measurement because it was bringing down or not effectively measuring uh, the actual variable you intended it to measure. However, I'm not gonna delete anything from this measurement because 0.87 is lower than my original 0.891. So I'm confident that the nine questions that were asked to my employees will effectively measure my employee satisfaction. So this is just a very quick video. I hope you learned a lot from this particular uh, short lesson. And I look forward to showing you how to compute these nine questions into a variable in order for us to conduct our analysis.